day, human Latiosites. This is the Latios Azuril, and welcome back to Let's Play Pokemon Shuffle. So, let's begin. So, last time we took on the uh, some of the new Pikachu forms, or should I say, costumes. This time we're going to go into the Safari to try to find the Gyarados and Magikarp costume ones. So, the first one I found was the Gyarados one. So, yeah, today we have post commentary since I was in the train when I found these. So, honestly, it's a little puzzle thing. In fact, it's so simple, all you have to do is do the same move a couple times, and it'll match. Eventually, it'll basically go down. So, pretty standard, to be honest. And, I mean, with the Gyarados, you get a couple moves left, and that is pretty much it. So, fortunately, uh... Gyarados does neutral damage of this thing, not that it really matters, because it's going to pretty much do set damage anyway, I'm pretty sure. So, you're going to get a 40% catch rate on this thing with the four moves remaining. So, throw a Pokeball at it, but of course, for me, it's going to break out. So, up to 80%. 80%! So, of course, for me, 80% means like 8%, because obviously it's going to break out of the Great Ball. So, fortunately, it didn't run away, so I get to throw another Great Ball at it. And this time, if it broke out of this one, I would cry. I understand it's not quite Steelix, but still, you know, whatever, it works. So there you go. Kind of backward how things work, but that is the Gyarados costume Pikachu. It has power of 5 plus, like Gyarados, and the electric typing with intact power of 50. So that is our S rank capture of the Gyarados costume Pikachu. Kind of funny how the shiny one is, well, the shiny Gyarados costume is outside the Safari versus the regular Gyarados one, which is inside the Safari. Either way, this, uh, the next one we're going to end up finding, it's going to take a while, but we ended up finding the, uh, the Magikarp costume Pikachu. Another puzzle-like thing, pretty simple, because all you have to do is trigger the spot plus plus, which it has because it's, you know, copying off a of Magikarp. It's going to reset the board to do the same thing once again and you, you should be able to take it down just like that and if for some reason i don't know why it wouldn't work you get an extra move to do it again not exactly sure why you wouldn't be able to or why they give you that extra move but hey you know it helps the catch rate i suppose so 16 percent catch rate i'm gonna throw a pokeball at it and just hope for the best and miraculously it actually stays in. Go figure that the uh, the 20% chance of um, breaking out and it breaks out 16% and we catch it. Either way, it doesn't. And the electric typing, the ability swap plus plus like Magikarp and the attack power of 50. So technically speaking, it has a higher attack power than Magikarp. Same ability, different typing. But that is our completion of the Safari once again. However, we also have. An expert stage to take on! Unless you thought I was gonna forget about that. <laughs> so we have Superior. 40 seconds to do this. Honestly, I'm just gonna throw in all the items. I mean, I do have some of the freebies from the um, main stage repeats uh, that recently were offered. If you repeat them, you can get like free Mega Stars, Disruption Delays, and plus um, five moves. So, what I'm gonna try to do is I'm gonna try to get a. Um, a, a sky uh, a sky blast combo as soon as I can from the beginning, which I'm not gonna get. So at this point, I need to just start going for Rayquaza to just break things. Because honestly, the only way we're gonna be able to beat this thing is by uh, getting massive damage from massive combos. Luckily, Rayquaza does manage to um, stall and give us a few seconds to plan our next moves and whatnot. So I'm actually gonna be able to get a sky blast, which is really useful in getting some damage. All I have to do is keep that combo going. Which is easier said than done for me. So, the combo's gonna break right there. Kinda sad, especially because before I was able to go for the Rayquaza, especially because we're running out of time at that point. But, you know, can only do what you can do. So, I'm gonna try to get Rayquaza in there just to. Uh, I know we have. Um, we're gonna get a minimal catch rate if I can't beat this thing with 13 seconds remaining. And, well. I'm going to beat it with 12 seconds remaining, so we're going to just miss it and with a very low catch rate of base 1%, <laughs> just like with Rapidash. 
even after using all these items. I didn't want to use it. I didn't want to dig into a complexity here because I figure, you know, super catch power is a thing, of course. So 1% and yeah, 1%. Not happening, so we're not gonna get a super catch power, but I'm just gonna throw a great ball at it and say, you know, it happened for Rapidash. Numbers mean nothing, right? No, it's gonna break out. One in 50, so I'm gonna throw a second great ball because I really have nothing to lose. So, and it actually works. So we actually catch a superior at 2%. Somehow, miracle happened. I mean, I understand we threw two great balls and all, but as attack power is 70, the grass typing and the ability relentless. So this thing actually could be good, especially when paired with something like Shaman, for instance, to put the thing to sleep, and then you get a big combo with that. So this could really, really do some uh, some work for us, potentially. I don't know, we do have other grass Pokemon, so who knows. But that is the superior. So... I do see some potential use out of it, definitely more useful than the Magic Harp and Gyarados costume Pikachus, I will say that. So, you know, it's kind of cool. So that is the final Sinnoh uh, starter line. Of course, the winking ones might come out at some point, who knows. That said, thank you for watching, as always, like, comment, and subscribe, and I'll see you guys next time with some more special stages here in Pokemon Shuffle. Goodbye.